Good morning, Junior 2. Today we will start our new lesson about near and far objects. Our lesson here is number 5, page 99. Firstly, we will start to uh, know what the meaning of near and far object. Could you look at this picture? Yes. In this picture, there is a boy, and this boy stands next to the tree. Very close to, tree, to the tree. So, I said, this boy is near from the tree. Because this boy appears with its real size. Real means what? It's normal size. So, this boy is near from the tree. And could you see this girl? Yes. This girl stands far away from the tree. Seems to be smaller than her real size. Is the size of girl like the size of boy? No. But the size of girl seems to be smaller than size of the boy. So that boy appears bigger than its real size because it is near. Near is bigger, far is smaller, far is smaller. What else? Airplane looks big in size. Could you see this pilot? Stand next to the airplane. And the airplane looks like big in size. Why big? Because it is near to us. Big body, near to us. Big body, near to us. Big body, near to us. But when the airplane flies in the sky, what will happen? Uh, it becomes very far away from us. But it looks in its same size? No. It will look small in size it will look small in size so far away small in size far away small in size while big near big near big near far away small in size so that we have sun so we see sun in the day sky or night sky uh, during the day when the sun rises up or come in the sky appears what's the meaning of appears we can see it bigger than others star because we said that that sun is a star. One of these star, one of these is sun, which is near to us. And we said that near is bigger, near is bigger, but other stars, uh, other stars junior too, far away from us, so that other stars will appear bigger, no, will appear smaller in size. Okay, sun is near to us, okay, we live here, so sun near to us, and the sun is what you junior to, sun is a star, sun is a star, one of those star near to us, then other stars, so other stars will be, huh? will be smaller because they are far away will be smaller because they are far away so that bigger nearer bigger
bigger, nearer, uh, smaller, far away, smaller, far away. Okay, could you see the difference between those? All of these stars, we see them at night. Sky. And they are uh, near or far away from us. Yes, I hear you. Far away from us. And we said that any far away bodies are smaller or bigger in size or smaller in size. So that <clears throat> other stars appear smaller because they are far away. Smaller because they are far away. But look at the sun. Uh, sun, one of the stars. But it is near from us. Yes, nearest star to us. Nearest star. So near will be smaller as well. No, it will be big. It will be big. Okay. Let's open your student book on lesson number five. Age 99 and dry date of today, it will be 10 11 2020. Our title How big is something far away? Follow the steps in the experiment and record observation. What's the meaning of observation? What can you see in this experiment? Okay, I have an object, for example your pencil i will hold the pencil in my hand like this okay and i will hold up my hand while you look at the teacher object so you will look to the pencil and raise your hand raise your hand okay this is your hand and you while you are looking to the pencil at the same time. And then I will circle or choose my answer. Okay, I have three answers. I will choose one of them. The teacher object. Okay, teacher object, which is what? Huh? Pencil. Looks like what? Let's let's draw what you can see okay this is your hand this is your hand you're raising your hand like this okay this is my hand or your hand and here is my object i hold this object far away from me what do you notice? Huh? The pencil is far away from your hand or near to your hand, far away from hand. So you can see pencil at its normal size. Is this is the real size of your pencil? No, it is much smaller than its normal size. So that the teacher object object is about tall as my hand as your hand like the length of your pencil okay ha huh. much at all as your hand no as you what huh. as your finger yes much at all as your finger could you see huh? the same length this is your finger and this is the length of your pencil so that a huh, teacher object is told about my finger one finger okay and here is draw your hand this is your hand and this is the pencil and this is tall or length of pencil is the same tall of your finger only is this real size no it is not its real size okay how big is it really okay up at page 100 and write the date of today 10 December 2020. Follow the instruction and record. 
When it is your turn, walk up to the teacher. Oh, walk up to the teacher so that you will become near to the teacher or far away from the teacher. Okay, so you will be nearer to the teacher. And place your hand next to it. Okay, so you will hold up your hand like this and near to the teacher who holding also the pencil circle what you observe okay you will choose your answer from all of these three answers compare compare i will see that the length of my pencil is taller or smaller or the same the uh, tall of your hand okay draw your hand and the teacher object now it is your hand okay and the teacher objects yes i will write huh short no i will write pencil with its real size i will draw pencil with its real size why huh because i become nearer this is my hand and i become nearer to the pencil so what do you notice huh you notice that the length of the pencil uh, the same length of your hand no shorter than your hand no it will be what taller than uh, taller than your hand huh the tool of pencil is taller than my hand could you see comparison yes could you see the difference between this picture and this one okay uh, could you see the difference Yes, the difference here says that. Okay, huh. could you see the difference? Yes, here is the tool of your pencil, uh, taller than your hand when you become nearer. But the tool, uh, the length of your pencil is smaller than or shorter than uh, your hand, only equal, only equal of your finger only but here the tool of your uh, hand is shorter than tool of your pencil so that we can said that we can said that nearer object huh bigger or smaller nearer object is bigger or smaller okay far away object is nearer or smaller huh what is your answer okay your answer will be nearer object will be bigger nearer object will be bigger okay and the far away object is uh, smaller other question nearer object will be smaller than its normal size huh what i mean nearer object like what huh? do you remember the tree yes and the boy huh boy near uh, to the tree can the boy appear with its normal size smaller than its normal size no nearer bigger not smaller nearer bigger not smaller okay but when i ask you another question far 
away object far away object will be bigger than its normal size okay do you remember girl yes here is a girl okay and this girl was standing okay huh far away from the tree is this the real size of the girl no smaller than so far away not bigger this is wrong answer will be smaller than okay please write this answer in your school book and i wish you interested with your lesson thank you jimmy too so so if i returning back again so so if i returning back again to my school book on page 100 i will found there is difference between what uh, between size or between distance yes between the distance so that i will write here what has changed the distance okay write the distance and you will find that here the pencil is far away from our hand and here is, is nearer near and far the difference in distance please write distance below in the page 100 uh, 100 okay thank you